Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Star Sector. Welcome back to the story of Kyle Gilmore. Still looking for his mom in this big old universe. And we are out here in uh, Irkala Nebula, just checking out these places. Uh, these two stars before we return to the core worlds. Sell what we've got and, you know, then we're gonna look for what else we can do. Uh, we dealt with this bounty. Yes. Is there more bounties? There's some bounties. Uh, there's a pirate base. We're definitely not ready to take on pirate bases yet. I mean, we don't even have a cruiser <laughs> yet. So right now, we're just gonna do some more exploration stuff. And in fact, there's something over here. That's a high warning beacon. I'm guessing that's for this system. We're definitely not popping in there then. Uh, thank you very much. We're gonna just check in here. You know, high warning beacon could definitely get you some good stuff, but... Uh, no, we're not gonna deal with it. So there's a volcanic world and there seems to be like a Something wrecked out here. It's a debris field Let's see what we can find uh, That's a Hyperion interesting. Uh, we're not gonna recover the ships. We're just gonna take this stuff Drop the metals and be good. Oh, of course We also have these things to learn that we got last time. So we got the pirate blueprints not amazing You know, they're not very rare, but hey, it's okay. And we got all of these uh, home alts that we can learn. Let's pop and see. Um, more metals to drop. Uh, we're gonna do one more scan, I think. There's possible to find something. Nothing really amazing. Let's drop everything. Uh, let's just circle the sun. Let's just circle the sun once. See if there's something good out here. Rock hound. Uh, so you are salvage gantry. Yes. We could take one of these just to have it as another salvage gantry. Mm, we could. It only has one D mod. So let's actually take it. Let's recover it. Yes. And uh, let's see. So this thing, let's put it over here. So now we have another salvage gantry. Uh, so it would be almost up to 50% whenever it's combat readiness is up. So this thing is kind of wrecked, but it doesn't matter because we don't really want you to fight. Oh, you already have integrated stuff over here. So they have hardwired mining lasers. So we can have a point defense or a point defense. LR mining laser or mining allowance. Uh, I'm just going to take the mining allowance. I think the mining... Uh, Laser has much bigger range, but you know if you don't usually it's if you don't stack up these big old uh, long range stuff, it's gonna be a problem. So what we're we gonna do? Oh, we can't give you militarized subsystems right now. What's your top speed then? Oh, maximum burn is at ten, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna give you. Let's see. Uh, I can't really get you much. Now, I want to give you safety override so you're fast whenever... You know what? You're pretty fast anyway. You don't even need safety overrides. I just want to give them, like, cargo holds and such. So, for now, I'm just going to let you be the way you are. Not really care about it. We're going to go onwards to glory through this uh, area. See if there's anything else. What do we have over here? That's uh, Hermes. This is going to not recover it. Uh, Hermes got some food and some organics. Eh, not something that's gonna get you a lot of money, but it's better than nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this over here. Okay, looks like there's some remnants flying around over here. Let them be. Ooh, it's a bigger remnant fleet. And there's our monthly income, such as this. Okay, so we're not gonna go into the high thing in there, so we're just gonna pop down here to Madeira. And check out uh, what Persian League is up to. But basically, you just go sell our stuff. Uh, so let me check. Do we have any Alpha course or anything like that? No, we don't. We just have the Corrupted Nanoforges. Uh, you're probably just going out here to salvage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to sell one of the Corrupted Nanoforges. We will keep one. Because until we find a pristine one, you kind of want to keep one around. Because, you know, uh, if you ever uh, get your heavy industry up, as you should... To get your own ships going, well, if you don't have the pristine one, 
at least you can use the corrupted one. It's not gonna be as good. Not nearly as good, of course, but it's better than nothing. It's better than not having one. You're friendly, and here we are. Let's see what we got new. So, research station. Ooh. There's a research station in Epsilon Venera Black Hole. Black holes can be very nasty when it comes to all of that. Uh, but I'm definitely taking it because I want to see that that thing, you know. I wanna I wanna take that because uh, research stations can have a lot of stuff, and often that you can find them in like black hole systems or nebulas. Like there's a nebula over here. We're gonna check that at some point. So there's a bounty. Somebody wants transmetonics, organics, and that's about it. So organics. Madeira needs organics. We have some organics, I think. So I'm gonna I'm gonna accept this one. This was posted by who? Is it? Persian League. Okay. I'll accept it. If you fail, well, shit happens. Where's Madeira? Let's go over here. Actually, uh, we have organics and. I don't really want to pay Madrid. Was it food that they wanted? No, ah, uh, well. Who would pay well for this? Uh, Madeira would pay well for volatiles at least, so we can do that. Turn on the transponder and let's go in here. Uh, privateers. What do you want? You come to search me? Hmm, I guess we done something not so nice. Oh, wait, what? No, no, no. No, no, definitely don't move to engage. <laughs> Who told you to do that? Uh, let's go to the black market. I mean, apparently. Yeah, we already have medium on that one. Mm, nothing is close over here. So I'm just gonna get rid of everything. Just make some money. That, that. Um, what did I just sell you? Arbalest? I kind of want to start stacking some of the stuff. You know, store the weaponry. Because why not? Okay, let's uh, let's do this. And you will give me all the fuel I can get. And you will get me a bit more supplies. Yeah. There you go. And we still get 50k. Good. Let's actually move in and let's see if they've got something for us that we could buy. Yeah, we don't want a heavy freighter. A hammerhead would be nice, but 3D modded one? Definitely not. Uh, we could grab uh, a carrier. We do have a wing commander, that's for sure. We could grab a carrier. These ones are low tech though. There's a heron. We had somebody that wanted to fly a heron. We could grab a heron. Uh, that would drop our maximum burn down though. So uh, that could be nasty, but it could be one big ship to you know have and fly around. Yes. Who wanted to be a heron man? That's a good question. We do have a wing commander. Shall I buy this? 150k? From black market? Are we grabbing a heron? I think we might be grabbing a hammer. Hammer? Heron! Grab it boys, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna outfit it and then we're gonna fly. All right, so I am all set up and we have our new Heron over here called the Heavens. He's being uh, piloted by Lieutenant von Helsberg. So I changed some stuff around here and I hope you guys not be mad at me that I did that. So we had an unnamed officer. So what I did is I renamed Captain Enoch, who was over here before, but Captain Enoch was of course carrier, strike and wing commander. We don't really want that uh, on him when he's flying El Shaddai. So I renamed Captain Enoch over here and we have Lieutenant von Helsberg over here. Adelbert von Helsberg otherwise, but his full name did not fit in here. He is available when we can afford him. As he does not only have a good combat carrier, but also a good tactical mind. Or at least that's what his mama said. He's a military genius. And his father fought many battles. Though he doesn't know which side, but it does not matter. Because he will be available 
to us whenever we can afford him and he's gonna be loyal and he will take care of his commander so that's Adalbert von Helsberg flying Heron called the Havens so we have the Havens over here and I just outfitted it with whatever we pretty much had it has dedicated targeting core over here uh, and I slapped on whatever he could get. So it has some annihilators over here for long range pressure. Uh, he's being flown by a cautious officer, so he should stay back and just send his fighters out there, which is okay with me. I got all the PDs these guys had, which is not much, because we only got mining lasers in the bag, but we also have an air PD over here and a burst PD. Nothing amazing, but it's whatever it is over here, right? Uh, we had some cool bombers though, so we have a dagger torpedo a bomber, we have a broadsword heavy fighter that's gonna escort them, and then of course we have the thunder heavy interceptor over here, who is a fighter. So I think this ship should work pretty well, uh, at least we now have a cruiser type ship, and it should fare well I think. So, let's see if there's anything over here, you have fuel, we are full on fuel, so no. Uh, we can't get any more officers quite yet. This is a reckless officer. I can't I can't grab you. I'm sorry, buddy, but now we are eating uh, 3.6 Supplies per day and we are going where we're going out here somewhere That way we're going to Epsilon Venera, okay, so we're gonna go to Mazalan first Mazalot in the Gun Star system, and that's where we're gonna fly from, I think. So let's go there. Let's fly out there. Yeah, yeah, black market trade. Who cares? So we're now slower. Uh, we're because our max burn of the highest ship is well, eight plus one, so nine. Uh, there's a pirate bounty. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could take this bounty though. How long is this gonna last? Do we go try this? They have a cruiser, but otherwise it's a bunch of destroyers. Hmm. Uh, it's been decreased due to other nearby friendlies? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. She's hiding near a rocky metallic world. System with a giant primary in Brahe. Blue Giant, Blue Giant, Red Dwarf, Red Dwarf, Red Dwarf. So it's one of the Blue Giants then. Hanas or Gamma Brahe. Well, we've been around here before. Uh, I'm gonna take it. It's actually, let's go check it out. It's close. That's that's the whole thing, you know? It's, it's close. So that's why we're gonna go. If you can't fight it, oh well. Let's see what Hanas system says for us. Uh, there are Kadur over here, and we're taking a lot of damage just sitting over there. That's really not cool. Uh, okay, where's this bounty thing? That... God damn it, they killed it. <laughs> Kadur have killed it. Ah, <sighs> well, looks like there's a bounty on this base. We're just gonna go check it out since we are here. But yeah, the Kadur have definitely killed it. Well, that's no good. Uh, that's way too much. Wow, these guys have two legions with no demods. Yeah, we're definitely not going there. We're not gonna find this thing, because we can't find this thing, but there's something up here. Uh, you guys are probably fighting pirates. Hello. Well, they tried burning them. We're gonna pursue them. Uh, our second in command can handle this. El Shaddai, go for them. Uh, we're not gonna recover them. I'm gonna just take the stuff they had. Thank you very much. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this. I don't necessarily want to recover ships, but let's go. Cerberus. Just get me my stuff. I can sell it to Kadur. And then we're gonna be on our way. Nope. Thank you. And some more stuff. Okay. Let's go back down here. Uh, don't we have like... Oh, I never leveled this up yet. Ooh. Fewer demods. Okay, so we need a... How close are we? We're not close. We're not close to next level. Otherwise, that could have been a thing for us. Okay, let's just sell stuff to the Kadir military. 
You guys can have all my metals. Typhoon Reaper launcher, light dual machine guns. Uh, we can keep some of these. Sure, salamanders are always useful. I'm gonna need more cargo space if I'm gonna keep on hauling stuff around. Oh, they have very cheap, uh, very cheap resources. I'm gonna take them all, actually. Yeah. Uh, you got any cool ships we could buy? You have a Tharge. That's a supply ship. Forever War Engineering. So what does a supply ship does? Fast and heavy armored logistic vessel, well suited defending itself from pirates and privateers. Right from a Crypted Falcon class. Okay, light cruiser blueprint combined with sector standard cargo and fuel pod NPCs. Stands as an ex excellent example of Kadur's design ingenuity. It's got a lot of cargo capacity. And a lot of fuel capacity, so I'm guessing, uh, yeah, it's not exactly what we need. Anything on the black market? Ventures, Intimidator, Destroyer. Cool, but uh, not what we really want. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I'm definitely not going to that jump point. I should remember <laughs> that that's, that's a stupid jump point. Don't use that one, because you're going to get yourself hurt. You're going to get yourself hurt bad. All right, so we are on our way. All right, I do have remote survey. Correct. Should remember to use that at some points. Uh, so we're going to Epsilon Venera. 17 days. I'm pretty sure we have enough supplies to just go directly there. We don't need to stop at Zagan. So let's make our way out there. Walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. So there's a distress signal in Epsilon Venera. Hmm, it could be pirates, it could be somebody actually trapped. But we'll see, it is, it is a black hole system, so I guess we'll see. We'll jump in, we'll see what happens. So, uh, we need to find a research station that is where? Look at it in a ring system, an Epsilon Venera, so I'm guessing it's here. There's nothing around this gas giant. Okay. Fair enough, let's uh, see what we got out here. That's a big contact. I don't like that. That's, that's pirates. That's pirates. So, let's hide in here. Stop this. Stop moving around. And let's do a sensor burst. Hmm. There's a couple of things. There was one thing out here, but I'm guessing this might be my thing. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's very close, isn't it? Crap. Oh, this is gonna hurt us. Let's go for it. It's 30k, but... Okay, there's a drone ship. We'll engage that. We're just gonna go in on my own. We're hurting, by the way, we're hurting. Let's see if I know how to fly this ship. If I remember how to fly this ship. It's always a problem when uh, you play something else and then you get back in here in the first fight. It's like Project Zomboid. You're of course very fast. How about we... Just overload you with my things. Like that. Just just throw all the missiles at him. Yeah. And you should die. Thank you. Got him. Got him. Not the best flying, but got him. It's a face lens. Okay. It's pretty cool. Take that. Now, what we got? Oh, let's go. Survey pod wing. Tycon lens blueprint, okay. Plasma cannon blueprint, okay. Shield conversion, high resolution sensors. Prison flux. Longbow LPCs, okay. Hammer. We did get a beta core and a gamma core. And a Tycon lens. Yeah, like we can use that on something. Actually, it's large energy. Uh, my ship is large energy. We could actually use this on my ship. <laughs> uh, but I don't think we will. I kind of like the systems we have. Because I'm aggressive and going in there. So, fine. Let's take all of that. Let's 
and pop this. Okay, we got an automated repair unit. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can pop out there and pop here. Not much. Okay, let's just get out of here. Yeah, before we uh, get hurt. Actually, if we go here, just on the edge, we should be able to salvage. Just don't go too close. It's possible, okay. So we're not really getting any stuff anymore. Okay. And our repairs need to happen now. Which they slowly would. Okay, let's uh, take a look. So we got some cool stuff. Nothing that amazing. I mean, these blu blueprints for my weapons are pretty cool. Especially if you get, get some solid uh, ships ship blueprints but i would prefer getting ship blueprints right now you can see also some of these <laughs> things so we could put that thing over here you can see how much that is 25 we are using the autopulse uh which is 20. so i think uh i think I'm not gonna do that quite yet even though it would be kind of cool but then it would be more of a longer range thing what do you have you have a graviton beam over here. And we do have a face lens. Okay, is there anything we want to check in here? There's this cryovolcanic and there's this cryovolcanic. We could check those. Just beware of the goddamn pirates. That they can be out here. I'm pretty sure those are pirates. Like that, uh, that beacon. It was definitely pirates. And it was pretty big fleet. Pretty want to play with it. No ruins or anything like that out here. So we're going to ignore that. And... There's a rocky metallic. I'm gonna go to this outer thing, see if there's anything flying or floating around here. Probably not. Of course, everybody in the freaking system now knows that uh, we are spamming this thing, that we're out here. But we are already going away. I'm gonna go check the two worlds, and I'm guessing there's not gonna be anything out here. Maybe one of them could have ruins. I don't know. Would be kind of cool. If you find any probes or anything like that. You don't have ruins, do you? No. So we're not going to check you out. So let's go down to the cry volcanic. And then we're going to call it. Although, I mean, I could go... I guess I could go check. And you're a big cry volcanic thing. Nothing around here. I guess I could go check the inner system jump point. Because we know there's something around here. I just don't know what it is. That's just a remnant. Remnant, where are the, the other boys? Who was out here first? I don't know. Uh, we're getting out of here. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we got some stuff. We finished a thing. And now, what else we can do? Uh, I mean, I would like to go, I don't know, explore maybe this area down here. You know, we could go explore this area. We're kind of close. So red stars, red stars, brown. Hmm. Let's make it. We could go check Tia. It's orange, it's very close to Core Worlds. Let's actually go down here. And then we can go check Tia. Yeah, that seems fine. So this system we've been passing, the Vlandoom Blue Giant has a, a low warning beacon. I'm actually gonna uh, jump in, but not on the inner system, because that could be too close to the giant. We have learned that that's not a good idea. I'm gonna go check in here if there's anything cool, besides, of course, the remnants. So we got Baron, Baron, Volcanic, and Baron. I'm just gonna go, you never know. They could be out here or something. There could be something out here. There's the Volcanic. You have something floating around? You do. Uh, we have supplies. Ultra rich ore deposits. Ultra rich rare ore and scattered ruins. That's, you know. <laughs> That's a lot, but it's also 275, so no. Let's see if uh, we got organs. 
That can sell well. And we got a midline blueprint package. Nice. So we can uh, produce our own heron, falcons, and uh, hammerheads, which are really cool. And of course, all the other stuff. Nice. Yeah. Definitely wanna definitely wanna take all of that. And we also got a bunch of organics. So already, this uh, this place is paying off. And of course, for uh, this thing, we can get 10k, which is pretty good. So let's learn that blueprint. And let's go check the other ones as well. Sure, why not? Because this one had good stuff. Maybe the others will have good stuff as well. Although we might be running out of supplies if you want to survey them all. We just want to survey those that might have potential ruins. This one does not. Oh, there's a debris field over here. That's more than one debris field. Come on, just get a bit closer. Orbital habitat. Well, let's let's go. That's good. Show me. That's out here. I did say I want to go explore out here. So there's an orbital habitat in the outer reaches of Shack Star System. Good stuff. Good stuff. Don't go, don't go too close. Uh, metals, of course, we're going to be dropping because they're not worth much. And it's possible. So let's not go in here. Is this the debris field we just discovered? I'm guessing it is. More metals for us to drop. And... More metals for us to drop. This thing doesn't have anything for us. So we're going to go check these two as well. You don't have debris, but there's a fleet. Okay, you're just a scavenger, aren't you? Yeah, most likely. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. That's acceptable. You got anything around this shiny, beautiful brown thing? Nope. The scavengers are flying after me. That's okay. No need. No need scavengers. We're all good. Okay, let's make it down to Core Worlds, I said. And then we can go check Ohio Nebula and... Chucks. I guess we're gonna go to Chucks first. I think have some orange stars. We might go check that orange star as well. I think that's a... Yeah, that's a triple star system. And there's a blue giant in there. Nebulae, nebulae can have some cool stuff often as well. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go check all the things. This, this episode looks like it's gonna be less on fighting stuff and more on just checking stuff out which is cool all right so what we got maybe there's gonna be some fighting that's too far right now although of course we can make it out there but this thing has a <laughs> an onslaught so no no oh he's also a part of hegemony no uh pirates that would be very easy for us to take and there's this some system bounties over here uh, let's just jump in, maybe not next to the pirates, let's go next to the Salamanca over here. And we can sell them some of our newly acquired loot. Hello. Yes, we are here and you will probably want to scan us again because we have some nasty stuff. Right, we should go drop off the Gamma Course and the Beta Course Tritech and we definitely want to take a look at those. Alright. Uh, they have excess stockpiles over here, so screw that. And the Tritachian would actually pay us a bit more. Even though that's not really very good, but hey. How about this? Mm, not really. Uh, I'm just gonna sell them over here. Actually, it's not the worst price. Let's sell you that. Let's give you this. And I'm gonna have to start selling all of these weapons that we are carrying around because uh, we have too much stuff. So let's get rid of some of the stuff. Actually, I'm gonna maybe do some refeeding and then check what is left. So I'm flying back out there to Tritachian. I sold some of our stuff, but I wanna go check on these Tritachian boys over here. Oh, there's a mining station way out there. Huh. There's a mining station asteroid belt out there. We could make it out there, couldn't really make it back. Maybe we could if we really had everything, but I don't think I'm ready to go out there. I just want to go to Tritachian. I'm going to sell them our Gamma Course. 
make a bunch of money out of them and see if we can potentially buy some of their ships. Um, I'm still gonna sell you this. Like, it's, I really don't. I really don't care about these organics. They're not even gonna make us much money, but you can have them. Uh, I need to store our stuff somewhere, and we could do it over here at Tritakian. Yeah, I don't know. We could. I think we potentially should, because I don't want to carry all these guns around with me, and I will buy storage. So it's on Eku Bress. And I'm just gonna store all of the stuff in here. So I don't need to carry it around with me. And I'm gonna sell the Gamma and Beta cores. Because if I wanna use a core, I'm gonna use an Alpha core. The rest can go. Uh, Station Commander, I got AI cores for you. How about that? 180,000 point uh, monies? Yeah, thank you. And uh, you would like to improve my stuff? Yeah, sure, sure. Look at how beautiful this is, by the way. Uh, anything at the bar? Uh, I don't want investment. And you have food. No. Thank you. No food. Uh, I want to check if they had anything cool. Nothing really cool. Hmm. Hmm. These guys have one fighter bay. Yeah, I could use another one of those uh, that can have some flyers. This is a light carrier, a midline light carrier. He's got uh, two fighter base. We could get another, like a fighter uh, fighter bay thing, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. Uh, not right now. I'm fine. Oh, look, they have the TT brawler. Tritakians have this special brawler over here. It's really cool, but I think we're like full-on frigates. We have a lot of small frigates. We need to start buying something bigger. And uh, we might go to like Hegemony or something like that. Buy some stuff. Where's the jump points? You know what? Screw that jump point. I'm just getting out of here. Transfer jump. Yep. Okay, so... We are going down here to Chax. I'm gonna go to Hegemony over there and then we're gonna drop down. Yeah, I think that's gonna be perfect. You know. Oh, there's a lot of fleets out here. Derelict ship by pirates. Yeah, that's way out there, son. Let's not go into these storms. Pirates are targeting Persian League, that's okay. Let them do it. Yeah, that ship is way, way out there. Way, way out there. Not really worth it. Uh, we're not there. Kadur Retribution going to Aslan. Kadur are being, you know, they're keeping busy. There is something down there. Uh, there's another uh, ship. So they're like ship by Hegemony, way out there. And, and uh, what is this? Full story of Han, a volcanic world. Eh. We could definitely do this one. Oh, it's another 50k. Get a survey going. E yeah, sure. Let's accept that. We're gonna go to Naraka first. Refuel. I, you know, I wanna go check that that thing that I wanna go check. Just that thing. Oh, you guys are engaging Yama. I'm guessing this might be Kadur. Yep, it's Kadur. So. Getting these guys, you know, they're, they're fighting and all that stuff. Just us being around and then picking up stuff that is left behind can be pretty profitable. Or also, not very. You know. But, I really need that level up, man. I need to level up and get all that uh, less demod stuff. Uh, there's actually fighting. Kadur, I think, are... Yep. Uh, fighting Yama Station. They're almost certainly gonna lose and then maybe we can find some find some of their ships uh, I'm gonna buy supplies. I want plenty of supplies as we go out there. Thank you very much and refuel fully This is all I need and let's see if they have anything for me Subjugator over there. It's kind of cool. Oh, they have an eagle Oh, do we grab an eagle boys? I think we could grab an eagle I think we could grab an ego. Our uh, fuel on that stuff is gonna go up, but having an ego would be really, really cool. 
Um, but I'm going out there and I left all my uh, stuff back at the Tritachium base. Still, having an eagle. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? Screw it. We're getting an eagle. Boom. You know what? Our fleet is getting out there. You could say it's getting out there. Am I going to be the one flying an eagle? Uh, I might be the one flying an eagle. I might do that, yeah. I might do that indeed. Now, what I could do for now is just mothball it. You know, just mothball this thing. It's got a bunch of medium ballistics. <laughs> just grab a salt chain gun and go for it. And just go SO. Oh, that's something we could do. Uh, we could just fully go SO in there. Safety overrides and fly in there. Otherwise, yeah, it could be kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm. Assault chain guns. Let's get some heavy machine guns. Uh, these ones are energy. These ones are energy. Heavy some maybe some blasters. We don't have heavy blasters, but we could do mining blasters out here. Huh. That could be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. Uh, if you don't know what SO is, it's safety overrides. It, you know, you stay in the fight less long, but you can, you can go punch some stuff. So we put assault chain guns up front. We do, I guess, mining blasters. They're really bad for flux per damage, though. Like really, really bad. Really, really bad. I don't know. Ugh, there's there's not much over here. Could only do like LRPD. And what do they have for harpoons? They have some atropos. That's really bad though. Um, I'm going to take this right now. And I'm going to mothball the ship. I'm going to keep the assault chain guns up front. Uh, don't repair it. We're just going to mothball it. And keep it with us. I'm just gonna put it back here. This eagle is gonna be useful soon, but it's not useful right now. I still want to go check that thing out. It's just, you know, uh, there were opportunities to get this, so let's actually wait for the Kadur to lose and then let's go uh, pick up some of their stuff. No. I'll pick your stuff. Thank you. We are over fuel capacity. It's not good. He's gonna drop the 60 fuel. Okay, let's get out of here. I wanna do that thing. So we have a problem. Ooh. Astron star system. That doesn't matter. And we have a problem. This is a medium warning beacon, and I don't think we can deal with this. And we know we have to go somewhere in the outer reaches. Uh that's a drum. Okay, let's go check this out. We're gonna grab all of this drum. Now I am slightly mad that I did not fix that eagle quite yet, even though we couldn't really get uh, much good stuff for it. Now, outer reaches, huh? Yeah, where's that? We're gonna go check this volcanic world and we're gonna check this gas giant. Oh, with that eagle? potentially do some more over here but uh, this might take a while just flying around trying to find this this thing somewhere in the outer reaches or it could be here Colossus heavy freighter that's not it it got a lot of luxury goods though so that's not a bad start do you have ruins it's an asteroid you don't have ruins it's a debris field. Let's go towards this gas giant. Um, yep. Okay, we definitely don't want to play with you. Get out of here. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What are you? Standing down, and it's a drum. I don't want to give these guys a chance to catch up to me. Um, let's fly in here okay they're still after me 
They're still after me. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna escape them. Hope. I'm gonna go around this. We're gonna go to Quikia. See if there's something out there at Quikia. Could be, could be not. You never know. But I just wanna, you know. Uh, up here in the nebula, things could be hidden. There's something down here. Where's my sensor contact? I think it's next to this thing. Please, that's a debris field. It's not the thing. Uh, Transmetonics. Eh, not much, but better than nothing. Come on. And nothing else. Okay, you don't have ruins, do you? No. We haven't checked that barren world. Let's go to this jump point. Check that barren world as well. It's somewhere in the outer system, so it's gonna. It could be in this ring. It could be. Who knows? It, it's a huge place, you know. So uh, it's hard to find, especially if it says outer reaches. So definitely don't want to fight you. It's a huge debris field. Are you the one? No, you're dormant. We're not gonna go check that debris field. I'm just gonna try running away from you and go towards that. Yeah, I don't wanna fight the medium fleets yet. It doesn't appear to be out here. I think that's another fleet coming for me from up top. Yep. Okay, we're getting out of the system. It's not something we can deal with right now, and I don't want to spend uh, searching for this thing that's going to be extremely hard to find, because it's a big system. We're just going to go do our mission that... Who knows how much time we still have? 77 days. Okay, plenty of fuel to get there. All right, we are full on fuel, actually. So, I mean, at least um, we found some stuff. You can't say we haven't. What is that, though? What was this thing over here? I think somebody jumped in. Looks like it. Okay. So we need to go to here. Volcanic world. Well, luck is not on our side today. Uh, that's a high warning beacon. <laughs> high warning beacon. Yes, thank you very much. Which means these guys have a station and all that stuff in here. And this is where we have to go, right? It's in the Morgana. Uh, Coming a full survey of Han, a volcanic world in Morgana. Well, crap. Um, let's go. See if we can quickly jump in, maybe on fringe. Hope that it's not defended. It doesn't say there's any hostile fleets around. We wait for a second. Get the idea where this is. Uh, it's down here. Han. We have a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, nothing that amazing. So it is way down here. Next to this ice giant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back out. Hope that there's nothing down there. It's next to this ice giant. Yep, there is Han. So we're gonna jump in here. Quickly check that out. Oh my god. Are you... Uh, you seem dormant. That's a research station? Hell yeah! Let's go check it out. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, that's really nice. That's a lot of... Uh, Blueprints, a lot of mods. Oh, so good. Got another uh, auto pulse laser. Oh, so good. Gauss cannon, cyclone reaper launcher. Of course, we can't carry all of this out, but we got plenty of stuff to throw out. So let's freaking go. Salvage. We got a high tech blueprint package. We already know. Oh man. We already know that one? I wasn't even aware. I mean, I should be aware, but still. I guess we're making money out of that. 
Okay, that's a Mjolnir. Alright, let's see. One more scavenge, maybe? It's still likely to find something. It's just not something that's very useful. Okay. Let's quickly do this thing. Perform a survey. Class 3, ultra rich rare and abundant ore would be great for mining, but I'm guessing, yeah, 300, not good. Uh, we got 50k, let's see what this is. A weapons cache as well. And we got ourselves longbow, blueprint, cobra wing, squalls, workhorse, LPC, merchant marine. What is this? A limited production chip that allows a carrier's nano forge to produce fighters. Replacement parts and related ordinances. Interesting. An agile light fighter with surprising bite. Deployed on mass as an escort screen. Cool. That's cool. There's five fighters in this wing. We have flash, LPCs, and a lot more stuff. Uh, we're probably... No, we're not even over, over, over. Okay. This was really good. Really freaking profitable. But I'm escaping this. I'm escaping this. Uh, why can we not jump? Why can we not transfer jump? Oh, because we have a mothball ship. Right. Ooh, that could be bad. Let's see if you can make it out, though. Let's see if you can make it out. Yeah, that's my cargo pods. I'm aware of that. Uh, let's see if uh, any of these fringe ones are not protected. Actually, the, the completely outer fringe one was not protected. We were there. So, at least we know that. Okay, let's, uh, let me let me learn all of these blueprints. Uh, that we... Some of them we already know. Yeah, hegemony. Well. Pretty good. Pretty good. At least we can make a lot of money selling all of that. Like... Let's sell high-tech blueprint package to the pirates. That seems like a good idea, right? Okay, sensors are not indicating anything. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, I still can outrun them. Right, 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 right. Just, just keep going, buddy. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. We're gonna keep on going. Uh, we need to go there. Keep on going. I'm not even gonna... Put on my uh, thingy, whatever it's called, so I can go faster because that would slow me down for a second and it will allow them to catch up to me. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. So let's get out of here. Oh no, oh yo, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. This place was not protected earlier. Whoo boy. Ooh, boy, where are we going now? Back down here, I guess. Back down here and hope there's nobody there. These guys are slowly catching up, aren't they? The small boys. Oh, there's something out there. Please, just let me through. Just let me through. Just let me out of here. I swear I'm gonna be a good boy. I swear I'm gonna be a good boy. Mm. <laughs> we are so slow. We are so slow. Uh, you see mothballing that ship hurt us for sure but we couldn't do anything else pause the game go there come on come on let's go oh we escaped boys we escaped thank you very much what is this over here valkyr let's check it out drugs it's got drugs Awesome. All right, this is a perfect time to finish this episode. Holy balls and a chopstick. That was something. I think we accomplished a lot and we also, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we did. We did accomplish a lot, even though we didn't get into any fights. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me. I'm going to make my way back to where we have our stuff stored. I'm going to outfit our eagle. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Cut her out.